The volume boot record is a block of data that is one sector or 512 bytes in size. It is a component of the NTFS file system along with the master file table, and it can be found in the very first sector of a partition. If there is only one primary partition on your computer, then the location of the volume boot record can be found in the partition table in the master boot record. You will recall from your homework working with the partition table that the hex value for the starting sector of that partition was 00, 00, 00, 01, 00, 00, or more succinctly, hex 100. This means that the starting sector of the volume boot record for that partition was decimal 256. Like the master boot record, the volume boot record also contains bootstrapping code. However, the most important block of information that we have in the volume boot record is the BIOS parameter block. The BIOS parameter block contains 84 bytes of data in hexadecimal format. These 84 bytes are broken down into individual units at various offsets within the block. These individual units, when converted from hex to decimal, provide forensic information about the file system and the partition itself. When viewed in a tool like Disk Editor, all of the subcomponents are color-coded for you and detailed in full on the left side of your screen if your template view has been activated. One of the most important pieces of information that you can get from the volume boot record is the location of the master file table and its copy. In the following section, I will detail the individual elements of the volume boot record. I will now do an analysis of the volume boot record that you currently see on your screen. One of the most important features that such a tool as Disk Editor gives you is the ability to jump to a particular sector or offset within a disk's memory. Whichever tool that you use for forensic analysis, all of them will have these navigation features. Once certain values have been decoded, an examiner needs to have the ability to jump to a specific line or offset to find certain elements of data that he or she is looking for. Just like with the master boot record, any values that are converted from hexadecimal to decimal will be interpreted as little endian, or from right to left. Sequences of hex, which serve as identifying tags, will be read from left to right. If you are using Active's template view, all of these values will be highlighted and converted for you. However, you should know how to interpret these values as this is what NCASE and other tools do when they calculate and display forensic data for users of their products. The first sequence is hex EB5290. This is a jump instruction which points to the location of bootstrapping code. This serves no real forensic value other than for identification purposes. The next sequence is 4E54. 4653, which is the manufacturer identification for NTFS, followed by 420s, which is hex code for blank spaces. The next sequence is hex 0200, read in Little Endian. This converts to 512 in decimal. This is the number of bytes per sector. The next sequence is hex 08 which is the same in decimal. This is the number of sectors per cluster. The next sequence is 0000, which stays the same in decimal. This represents the number of reserved sectors. This will usually stay at 00 unless there is a special installation for this partition. The next sequence of five bytes will always remain zeros because they are unused and have no value assigned to them. The following hex value, F8, is a media descriptor. F8 indicates that the volume is a hard disk. F0 would indicate that this volume was a floppy disk drive. This value is a holdover from legacy systems. According to the Microsoft TechNet reference page, the next 18 bytes are not used or checked by NTFS, even though some of the fields have values assigned to them. 
The next sequence of eight bytes refers to the total sectors in the partition. Reading this hexadecimal value as little endian without the zeros, we have 1f, ff, ff. In decimal, this is 2097151 sectors, or 2,097,151 sectors, or a total of uh, a little over 1.07 gigabytes. The next sequence, minus the zeros in Little Endian, is 015555. In decimal, this is 87,381. This is the cluster number of the master file table. If you multiply this number by 8, you get 699048. This is the sector number. If we multiply that number by 512, we will get the exact byte offset in memory which is 357,912,576. If we use the go to offset function of disk editor, we can jump to that exact location from our current position. This is the master file table. This is a relational database within the file system known as NTFS, which holds records for every file and folder on the volume. With a master file table record, you can rebuild a file that is stored in memory based on its individual clusters. We will go into much more detail on this in another lecture. For now, just remember that you can find the location of the master file table using the volume boot record. The next sequence of 8 bytes provides the location of the master file table copy. If we remove all of the zeros to the right of the first byte in the sequence, we have hex 02, which is the same value in decimal. This is the cluster number of the copy. So as with the original master file table, if we multiply this number by 8 and then by 512, we get the byte offset of the copy's location in memory. The next sequence of bytes is minus the zeros, F6. In decimal, this is 246. To make a long story short, in this case, the F6 represents a negative number, specifically negative 10, even though the file system has converted this value to 246 decimal. Without going into the deeper mechanics of the math involved, this field refers to the size of a single master file table record, which is 1,024 bytes. If you are curious as to how that number is achieved, it is 2 to the power of the absolute value of negative 10, which equals 1,024. The next sequence, minus the zeros, is a hex 01. This value is the same in decimal and it represents the size of each index buffer used to allocate space for NTFS structures such as directories. The size of this index buffer is one cluster, or 4096 bytes. The next sequence of 8 bytes is read as is, from left to right. This is the volume serial number, which is unique to this volume. The final four bytes of the BIOS parameter block is listed as a checksum or error correction code. According to a number of NTFS references, though, this value is not used. No Microsoft software uses this field, so it always is set to zero. Starting at logical offset 85 of the volume boot record is the bootstrapping code. This continues up until the last two bytes of the sector. The volume boot record ends with the last two bytes of 55AA. This is the closing signature of the block. There is one last sequence starting at offset 502 and ending at byte 507. This also needs to be mentioned. Read from left to right, this sequence is 8A, 01, A7, 01, BF, 01. The sequence ends just two bytes before the closing signature of the volume boot record. This is an error code which is specific to English versions of Windows 8 and 
It is an artifact such as this which can help to positively identify a version of an operating system should you be left with minimal information.